slow and steady wins the race. It can be harder than many people realize to begin a new healthy habit. But when you are dedicated to achieving your goals, then there is nothing that should stop you and get in your way. However, a lot of what prevents us from reaching goals is a mental block that can create many disturbances and disruptions in our lives. Fortunately for us, there are ways that we can begin to care for our bodies and minds and prepare ourselves mentally for the strenuous task ahead of us. One great way to help us get ahead before we even begin is to have realistic expectations. Don't eat a healthy meal one day a week and expect for it to be enough to lose weight. In fact, that is far from the truth. In order to lose weight, you have to make sure that you are doing everything in your power to follow through on your goals, even when you relapse. It is harder for us to achieve goals when we are not being realistic. To begin formulating a new habit, we need to start slow. Introduce it gradually in small steps and steady doses, rather than imposing unrealistic expectations on yourself that will be nearly impossible to work toward and maintain. Instead of making several drastic lifestyle changes at once, instead, do your best to implement small changes and do them gradually until they feel like a normal part of your life. We have to start small. If we take on too much, it is the surest way to failure. Integrating new habits into our lives should be done carefully. Start with small steps to begin with. For example, instead of putting out every single unhealthy food that you are addicted to at once, try starting with cutting out one thing at a time. Go for about a week of cutting out that food before cutting out another food that you know you should get rid of. Although this process may seem slow, it is a surefire way to make sure that the changes you are trying to implement will last. Instead of overloading your mind with a lot of different stressful changes, it is very helpful to be able to take a step back and allow your body the time to get used to making healthier choices. It can be physically stressful to make changes in your diet, so try to go easy on yourself. Relapses can and probably will happen, but what you have to remember is that you are doing this to get healthy and not to punish yourself. If you make a mistake, so be it. But leave your mistakes in the past and continue moving forward. Don't let one mistake become a slippery slope back into your unhealthy lifestyle. Although it may seem difficult at first, you will be surprised by just how easy it is to begin to get used to the lifestyle of making healthy, body-conscious choices that will reward you and pave the way toward a healthier future for yourself. Don't overdo it. You need to make sure that you are taking on your challenges in a way that will provide you with the resources you need at your disposal to thrive. When you are not able to do so, that is when things get difficult. You could try to set aside a date bi-weekly to begin to introduce new habits and eating changes so that you can begin to take on all the new habits that you want to develop in order to make your lifestyle the healthiest it can possibly be. And this isn't true of just changing your diet and precluding unhealthy foods from your lifestyle. This can work for just about any lifestyle choice you could possibly make. If you wanted to begin learning a new language, for example, you could begin slowly by starting a new regimen of studying that language once every week. You could eventually bring the number of days you practice your language up until you are practicing two to three times a week, or even setting time aside daily for that venture. As long as you start off slow, you will ultimately be able to develop a habit so that you are heading closer and closer toward the life you have always dreamed of. It is more than possible for you to achieve your goals. You just have to approach them with realistic expectations for yourself and the biological reality that it takes a long time to develop specific habits, while others can sometimes come more naturally. Either way, don't overload your brain by trying to make huge changes all at once. A gradual ability to take in the changes will provide you with the structure you need to make long-lasting choices that will improve your life from here on out. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.